Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Inside A Gamer. Welcome to Train Sim Classic. It's the first time I've had to say that on the stream. Train Sim Classic, and uh, welcome to a scenario that we're going to be doing, uh, which is part of the North Wales Coastal Scenarios uh, from backdated train sims. You can pick it up. There is a link to the uh, North Wales Coastal Class of '99 Scenario Pack in the description down below. Uh, so we're going to be doing one of them scenarios today. Uh, we're here in the Class 37. Uh, we're here at Hollyhead, going all the way to Birmingham. Uh, it's a quite a long scenario, but we should be alright. We should be alright for time. Uh, so look, it's very quiet tonight. Everyone keeps telling me to play Train Sim. I don't do it enough, and we come back with Train Sim, and no one's here. Where is everyone? Good evening. Hello. Come on. Say hello. Whoever's there. Make me feel like there's somebody with me. Um, so yeah, so look, uh, let's get on with it, really. Let's just start up the train and uh, see where we go. Okay, good morning. Depart at 6.40. Start by opening your doors. So we've got a couple of minutes here. Uh, so we're just going to open up the doors. We're here in the class 37. I'm just going to change our lights around. There we go. Take off the tail lights while we're here. Glenn Bixley, 2 2. Hello. Elaine Baines, good evening. No, there is somebody here then. That's good. At least there's one person. So this is Hollyhead. Uh, I thought this would be quite a nice scenario. I don't drive the 37 very often, so I thought it would be nice. Okay, let's go to the back of the train then. Let's turn on the AWS. Okay, we're gonna re that's all reset. We're going to turn on the master key. There we go. We're going to put it into neutral for 30 seconds. Actually, I think the train's already turned on, which is good. Okay, lovely. Just gonna release the brake handle. Down to 40%. There we go. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, I don't need the light on in here. Ooh, okay, I thought the light was on. Jesus, it's that bright. Okay, we've got a minute to go. We can turn on. Here we go. I'm pretty sure it's 195. We'll put it in, anyways. Okay, 195. That's for the NRM zone. Okay, lovely jubbly. Okay, we're pretty set up to go. Train can go into the forward position. Nice. We've got a couple of, couple of minutes, well, a minute ish. Shall we have a look where we're going today? So we're going from Hollyhead, not doing too many stops, all the way down to Crewe. So Chester, uh, I actually see, is that Preston? Ryle, Carwin Bay, Londino Junction, Banger. Nice, okay, so pretty good to go. That's a small dartboard, but I suppose you have to stand close to it. <laughs> yeah, uh, next stop, Banger. Remember to keep on the timetable as best as we can. And we all know that that's probably not gonna happen very well, but okay, let's release the brakes. Uh, good evening, Adrian. How are you? How is everyone? Uh, C Spears, I'm in Liverpool. Well, hello. We're going in your direction. <laughs> going, going in that direction, anyways. We're going to hope to. Should we get Train Sim World 3 or Trains 22? Ah, oh, that's a tough one. 
That's a tough one. I think if you want more of a train experience, I think go for Trains in World 3. Because uh, the problem with uh, Trains 22 is kind of supposed to feel like an electric train set, I suppose. Okay, let's get some clag coming out of this bad boy. Trains in World 3 is cheaper. Yeah, I would go Trains in World 3 probably. If you, if you like, you know, if you want to, especially going forward with more routes and all that kind of stuff, if I had to pick between the two. Tra Trains 22 is nice because you can build your own routes and you can do the multiplayer side of things, but <clears throat> same time, I think uh, if you're if you're already fighting Trains in World, then I'd definitely just go with that probably. Okay, so next stop is in Banger. We've got quite a while to go. Yeah, hello. Uh, no, we're not doing Facebook anymore. Uh, Facebook Live is gone. I get, the page is still there uh, for me to post my videos and stuff, but uh, yeah, we won't be doing live to Facebook anymore. Yeah, I saw you got a headrest cover.
Uh, JD Shadow, good evening. BVG Bill, good morning. Uh, Mount Gambia, South Australia. Well, hello, Bill. Nice for you to always pop in. Must be very early in the morning, though. But the clock's changed soon, so it should, uh, should work out a bit better. Yeah, it's a good point, Glenn Bigsley. You're going to change your stream schedule again once the clocks go... Uh, well, they go backwards this time, don't they? Or forwards or whatever they do. Yeah, 5 a.m. Commander Fox, good evening. How are you, friend? How is everyone? Halfway through the week. The week is nearly over, nearly. Good weekend ahead, Formula One's back. Premier League football's back. Big weekend ahead. <laughs> uh, Bill, good. Good to hear that you're well. Uh, Kenny Sun, hello. Just finished watching your latest video. Best World looks surprisingly good. Yeah, it looks alright, doesn't it? Will be released tomorrow.
Yeah, and I did it with uh, keyboard as well because I wanted to try the game if people uh, might be new to bus games or just want a simulator. I uh, wanted to see how it played without the wheel. And you know what? The keyboard controlling was all right. It was actually really all right. When are you going to do my story from London Waterloo to Guildford? Uh, I will do it soon. That'll be a video. I usually only stream long ones, to be honest with you. How'd you say that? We didn't look like it handled badly at all. I do wonder how many scenarios they can come up with, though. Well, so far, there looks like there's over... Um, it seems to be like over 35. And you've got the free roam where you can make your own. But... The idea is, what I've seen from the developer is that there will be uh, more maps with new scenarios coming through the early access, so... Yeah. It looks alright, it looks alright. Sometimes it's nice to just have something different to the old OMSIs and stuff, you know. There's something that runs at more than 10 frames a second. Uh, there's no point in doing anything with trains because uh, it's just not really easy to do or anything. Okay, seven miles to bang up.
What's your favourite livery for the Class 290? Well, I don't know. There might even be new ones I have not even seen. Go remember, I'm not in the UK, so only when I get to go over, I get to really see them. Okay, follow off. Uh, Zach Green, hello, how are you?
Uh, Rumbot, sorry I'm late, no worries. I thought trains maybe just weren't your thing. Ugh. Might have a really cool game for tomorrow though. We'll see. Is the, is the new train sim bad? What, train sim world 3? No. I prefer classic for the uh, the range of scenarios and stuff. And routes, that's about it. Where's the train going? We're going all the way to crew. We're doing the, I think it's the whole route. So we started in uh, Hollyhead and uh, pretty sure we're going to crew. Yep, yeah, crew platform 11. Uh, so we started in Hollyhead, class 37. The Alaskan Husky, good evening. And welcome to Banger. Okay, doors are open. Yeah, I'm good, mate. I'm good. Chilling with uh, some trains. It's been a while since we streamed ch trains. People have been at me for a while, so uh, I thought I'd find a nice scenario on a route that I haven't done very much of. How are you? How's everybody in the chat? Just got a news notification that the Hurricane Ian makes landfall uh, in Florida with residents as shelter hundreds of thousands left without power. Doesn't look good, does it? I've uh, never really been into trains. Uh, <laughs> well, next up, the Landerlo Junction. I do love my trains.
Uh, Imran, good evening. How's your snow going? It is pretty much done. I just haven't looked at trains in a while. I've been so busy with other stuff. I heard about that one. News like five minutes ago. Sounds bad. Yeah, it looks pretty rough. The size of it is massive. Winds are like 155 miles an hour earlier. Mike Ray, good evening. Uh, how come you can't chat to when you play OMSI, mate? I don't know why. It's really weird. You should be able to chat when I play OMSI. I don't know why it's doing that. It should be just the same now. And if you can type now, you should be typing on all my streams. So yeah, it's really weird that that's happening. Okay, so we're going to go to Lalondolo, and then we're going to Colwyn Bay. That's a nice little one. Ryle. Chester Crew. Nice. Uh, what's going on? Well, we're taking the 37 all the way from Hollyhead on the North Wales uh, coastline, uh, all the way to Crew. That's what we're at. This is a scenario from the uh, class of 99 scenario pack from backdated, uh, backdated Sims. The guy who did uh, Virtual District. I put a link to the scenario pack down below if you want to download any of these. Oh, nice. Oh, the tornado thing, uh, it's the, uh, it's just hit America, it's just hit Florida. Pretty rough. Okay, so Lalondolo is only uh, 12 miles to go. Look, it's basically just Train Sim World 2 of uh, new weather effects and stuff. I mean, if you enjoy Train Sim 2, there's no reason why you're not going to enjoy Train Sim 3. I think the, the biggest issue was the price point for a lot of people for the, the little bit of extra route we got. But it is what it is, you know. If you want British train routes going forward, they're the only ones that are going to be doing it. So... What more, what more What more? can we do? What more can we do? Have I ever been to America? No. Some place I really want to go. Yeah, I've been good, mate. I've been good. Can't complain. I really want the uh, the Armstrong Powerhouse 87s. I haven't got it yet. It's on my to-do list. Benny Wood, good evening. How are you?
Commander Fox, I've ever played armor. I actually have armor three. I bought it. There was like a sale ages ago on Steam, and it was like two euros. Uh, so I picked it up, uh, but I've actually never put it on my computer. <laughs> um, but yeah, I've got it. Never played it. Thirty-seven is lovely, isn't it? It, but the amount of mods you have to install to play a 40 minute campaign is stupid. See, that's the other thing. There's so many DLCs and mods and stuff. That's where games just, unless you've been into it from the beginning, just gets overcomplicated just for a simple thing. Uh, when are you going to fly the uh, Bluger? Yeah, it's on, it's on the list. There's plenty on the list, but it is on the list. Um, there's a couple of new planes that have just poured across the X Plane 12 that I'm going to fly next week as well. But we'll get there. We will get there. There's always so much to do. Mike knows. Catch you later. Uh, I don't know. Something like fifty or something, I suppose. I don't really worry about the numbers, they don't really mean too much. Okay, five miles to go to the next stop. Yeah, I think I think it's like 50 subs. It takes usually a couple of days. Sometimes when it gets close to the weekend as well, YouTube goes funny with the algorithm stuff, so... Like, sometimes you find on a Sunday, all of a sudden you've gained 40, 50 subscribers, but you haven't done anything for like three or four days. So it just needs time to catch up with itself. But yeah, quite happy. 13,000, never thought I'd get this far. To be fair, I, I, I never thought I'd ever even get to a thousand, so I've just been lucky with a couple of games, that's all. But the problem with getting lucky with a couple of games are people don't always come back for most stuff you do, or at least have a look or watch. Like, they, they, they like what you've done, and I notice you play the same game all the time, they're not that interested. It's a bit of a funny one. Okay, let's take the speed up.
Are you going to have a 13k party stream? Uh, I did the 5k party. I don't think... Uh, that's when we did... Um, we did Omsi on the bus, so we took the bus from London to Victoria, then we played Train Sim from Victoria to Gatwick, and then we flew Microsoft from Gatwick to Barcelona. Um, that was a pretty nice stream. Uh, probably won't do anything for 13,000. I did tell people if I got to 15,000 by Christmas, I'd do a special of some sort. Um, but I don't think that's going to happen now. I'm too far away. I'd be lucky if I get to 14,000 by Christmas, unless I get lucky again with a couple of videos. I, I, don't, I don't see it happening. And the problem is, the main games that people like, they get updated the least, because it's usually one developer. Like, you know, Monban Zoo or Junkyard Truck. I mean, that hasn't even had an update in weeks now. You know, it's there's nothing going on in these games. It's hard to keep... I'm not that YouTuber that does all the stupid stuff, because I'm just not very good at planning it. Wish I was. <laughs> it's probably about 10 times the amount of people. There's probably about 2,000 2, people living in this village. Okay, there's 37 going back the other way. Nice. I'd say there must be about a thousand people in this village. I could be wrong. <laughs> Destination Usham, hello mate, how are you? through the castle now. Might be able to get a nice screenshot if we're lucky. Bugger. I forgot about that. Cheers, Imran. It's nice to know that uh, some people like this stuff. Nice one five eight going back the other way. Okay, let's open up the doors. Looks really good here.
Um, Mike Hadley, never played this game for ages. Oh, I love a bit of Train Sim. I must admit, I've been quite lazy with it. Even making scenarios. I, I was there on top form not long ago, but just... So much other stuff always coming out, always something to do. One thing I've noticed about getting a little bit more retention in people, obviously there's a lot more people contacting you, but there's just always too much. Okay, next stop, Callum Bay. Callum Bay's a lovely uh, stop as well. Okay, let's get the clag on. Last week. Well, as you can see, it's not the most popular um, I probably do, so it does get a little bit left behind for that reason. <laughs> Commander Fox, only if it worked that way. Unfortunately, uh, for all the time and effort, there's not really much in it, I'll be honest with you. But it's keeping me busy. I like the game, but I tend to get bored quickly, yeah. I do you get what you mean? It's always then hard finding decent scenarios that doesn't need a billion requirements as well. That's always the other side of it. Playing a lot of gas station simulator. <laughs> That's good. That's what I like to hear. I've been playing a lot of Tropico. I've recorded like seven episodes, I haven't uploaded a single one of them, apart from the first one. I've really been into Tropico at the moment. Omzi, like I said, when buses and stuff come out on Omzi, I get burnt out, we do so much of it before. And then when it's out, I just, I have to walk away for a week or two. But I'll get back on the Omzi stuff next week. Uh, you can do Cork to Dublin on this, there is a route, but it is absolutely terrible, the trains are terrible. I have the route, um, but it's very old and rubbish. Case next up, Calvin Bay. Uh, sent you a DM with another skin. Have a good rest of the stream. I'm off to bed. Five thirty four. No, it's Michael. Thank you for that. I'll have a look. I don't, I don't know, I don't have my Discord up for a change, uh, but thank you, and we'll have a good look. Thanks for doing them.
Okay, doors are open. Uh, Prince, good evening. Uh, what do I like about games like this? Um, well, when I was very little, I was always into trains. I used to train watch a lot of my grandparents. Um, I always kind of wanted to be a train driver. But it was never the easiest job to kind of get into. A lot easier now, um, but not in this country. Um, yeah, I've just always had a love for trains. I just loved the way they are, all the different types. You know, compared to a lot of countries, especially with English trains, there's just so many different variants and stuff. And... You know, I really like that, and yeah, it's, it's just one of those things. Just kind of grew up with them because my grandparents, really. It sounds like a B10. I find them very relaxing as well. Yeah, that's why I'm not keen on that much. It would take you nine years to find the requirements. Yeah, that's always the hardest part. That's why I started making my own, just for the fact I knew that I'd never have an issue because whatever I put out there, I must have. So, but yeah. But I must admit, this scenario pack is pretty good. There's not a lot of requirements for it, which is really nice. I, don't, I still don't know yet, Prince. I haven't looked at all the numbers and stuff. I'm, I'm really trying not to. I kind of don't want it to be, but we'll see. Your thing with trains is like my thing with classic cars. I used to go to barn hunting with my grandpa. Yeah, well, I mean, i got a classic car here as well. I love my cars. But uh, yeah, this is something that kind of reminds me of my grand my granddad. They spent a lot of time with him when I was younger. Um, so yeah. We used to go down to the car boot and there used to be train stations there and stuff on a Sunday and we'd sit there and watch trains for hours. Lots of on Sunday. I'll have a dreaded class 195. I don't know, that bad. I quite like them. Uh, what have I been up to today? Absolutely nothing. <laughs> um, it's been raining here all day, so there's not been much to do. Since I've had my flu jab a few days ago, I've had a bit of a chesty cough. That's why I keep turning off the mic. I don't know if you hear it. Du -du -du -du. You might notice it on some of my videos as well. Um, so, yeah, I've not been feeling great, in all honesty. It sounds peaceful. Yeah. Yeah, I miss, I miss, I miss them days. Long time ago, but like they're like the only memories I really still have. Lucky enough, I was old enough to remember them before he passed away. Oh, Scott, I forgot to tell you, I, <laughs> I was drinking coffee this morning and I may spill all down myself watching your video. The first corner smashing to bloody everybody. <laughs> yeah, it was funny. It's hard. It is pretty hard. Uh, age related, yeah. Oh, Gary, sister's moving to Gory next month. Nice, so I'm going to see some of you then. You're going to come up and have a couple of beers. Do you know what part of Galway she's moving to? Is she going into the city? Uh, 
Uh, the thing is, with them 195s, they sound like a bus, and a train is not meant to sound like a bus. <laughs> I think they look alright though. I remember my grandpa uh, taught me how to drive a tractor when I was six, drove into a ditch. Well, that's usual here in Ireland. Like, my grandparents rode down to the house, there was like a ditch on either side full of water and bog land, and the amount of cars and stuff we used to put down there. <laughs> If you get in the front wing, it extends quite a bit in front of the car. Yeah, it does. It's, uh, yeah, but your first corner crashed into everybody. And then you didn't pit float three laps. I'm surprised you were able to keep the car on the track. Well, you didn't quite. When you came out of the pits then, it was quite funny. You put your foot down too fast off the uh, corner and then you spun your car. I must admit, I was having a good laugh watching it. Now you feel my pain. It's not so easy. <laughs> I can tell you, father-in-law is a farmer getting a bit of land. Oh, nice, okay, fair enough. Uh, the ETA, uh, well, we're, we're due into the next station now, which is Royal, and then we've only got a couple more stops. Uh, Prestane, Chester, and Crew. But we should finish up um, probably about 30 minutes from now, I'd say. Uh, cruise Control, hello. Yeah, they got the looks, but the engines are not the noise. If I'm lucky, I might get a 158. I do like a 158. You used to get so many of them down in Basingstoke. You still do going up to Shrewsbury and stuff, but... Uh, it's all 350s and stuff now. Uh, Prince, I'll catch you later, mate. I remember a few weeks before Christmas some year he took me down to his brother's pub, took two kegs of beer. <laughs> Anyone in the country's a chance tonight. It's frustrating was doing so well for like 16 laps and all went bad. <laughs> yeah, that's that's probably the worst bit. What's my favourite train? Ooh. Oh look, a 101. Ooh, favorite train. I do like the the class fifties. I'd say it's probably one of my favorites. When I was younger, I used to live right next to the train station. It was so loud. But there's only like 
five trains a day here in the country. That's the problem. Like, if you want to go train spotting here, you literally have to go for 10 hours a day just to catch five of the same train. Unless you're in Dublin or Cork, even Limerick actually, you can catch some different stuff in Limerick. But if you don't live in those places, there's like nothing to see. Behind the yellow line, sir. Okay, doors are open. It's not that it's just so bad, it's just boring. There's not enough, you know, the only, the only thing is, is the dart, I suppose, because the, pe the population in Dublin going to work, but rural island trains don't make any money, I'm sure of it. Like... Why catch the train when you can catch the bus, which takes you half the time to get from Dublin to Galway, you know what I mean? And probably half the price. So, it's a bit of a funny one, really, the train to it. I'd rather go sit on Go Bus. Two and a half hours straight into Dublin. Happy days. Ten quid. My only thing with the American trains, I don't mind like the city stuff and the metro stuff, but the long haul, heavy haul stuff is just 20 miles an hour, it's so boring. I don't know how those drivers do that job. 25 miles an hour all the way through like, you know, Utah or something. Just mountain after mountain, ugh. Oh, be so boring. <laughs> I don't know, you need to do something, wouldn't you? Probably just watch movies on a DVD player or something, or on your phone. Nah, they're not cool looking trains either, yeah, I just, they all look the same. No, I mean, all the different liveries are pretty cool. But, uh, yeah. American railroading is not something I like. In all honesty. Uh, no worries, mate. Catch you later.
Uh, what's been with the streams the past few days? Not as it. This is just what it's like sometimes. It's up and down, up and down. Depends what you play. <coughs> but done OMSI, you know, there would probably be more people here. Um, yeah, look, it's, it's just the way it is. I'm not, the, I'm not exactly the most popular, not the most exciting and stuff like that, so... Yeah, you know, it is what it is. At least there's a few of you here. That's all that makes me happy. Okay, next stop will be Chester. Okay, we've got 26 miles to Chester. And then into crew. Yeah, look, it's just the way it is. If I played more kind of simulator games, I think more people would have turned up. You know, this is a simulator, but you know what I mean? Cat is hard, good evening. I haven't seen you in a while. How are you? Uh, has there been any updates to the Florida situation? Not, not that I know of. Uh, I haven't had any other news flashes. Is he asleep? Well, am I, am I asleep? Possibly. I, I, was, uh, I was looking at my notifications. <laughs> uh, is everyone behaving? Yeah, we, we are behaving. We're trying our best. The one thing with it being uh, quiet is there's no stupid comments. I uh, just got back from an epic curry. <laughs> you love your curry, don't you? To be fair, I haven't had a curry in about a week or so myself, to be fair. We usually have about one curry a week. Kind of loud, what the stream, or just on the outside?
Yeah, but unfortunately that's just a lot of that kind of community. Not not Joe himself, but you know, the OMSI bus people. All those people are banned from my channel and stuff, so they don't bother coming here anyways. I don't have time for that rubbish. Ah, uh, the outside. Yeah, the outside can be a bit loud, but then the inside's too quiet. Uh, Fred Johnson just subscribed. Thank you, mate. Much appreciated. Okay, still 20 miles to Chester. Uh, you banned all the idiots, so people will be mean. Like that guy the other day saying he owned his Dennis Dart the next minute the beast said, oh, don't. People like that just do my nothing. Wait, we had another kid saying, no, he's not about the same person, Phoenix. That's a better view. I was wondering why we were sitting so bloody close. Uh, Mr. Commodore, good evening.
Oh uh, no, he hasn't come back here. He's talking about Joe's stream. Uh, he was he he was gone. I think he's been banned from the channel, unless he makes another account. No, 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 someone from before. Some absolute tit. I'm going to start posting some videos maybe even tomorrow or Friday. Uh, so I'm not bothered as it's late. Oh, nice. <laughs> the curry's ordered some shandies too. Yeah, I'm, I might have a, a glass of something after this. I got some really nice rum. I'm really enjoying uh, spiced rum at the moment. Um, uh, what's the brand? Can't remember off the top of my head now. I bet it's lovely. <clears throat> uh, see you later, Mr. Commodore. Thanks for popping in. Okay, let's take the speed out. Edward Evans, good evening, how are you? No, not Morgan. It's, um... On the bottle, it's kind of got like a pirate's chest and, uh... They, they, they have loads of different flavors and colors. There's like a black, a uh, orange really enjoying the orange one. I think it's like a mango flavored inspired. Uh, but I can't, I can't think what the brand is. I'll let you know in Discord. Edward Evans just subscribed as well. Thank you, mate. Much appreciated. Nice to have you on board. What's your stream tomorrow? Oh, it's a secret tomorrow. No, not cracking. Ah. Oh. Uh, I'll have to let you know in Discord. I really can't think what it is now. <laughs> but yeah, I love it. I've really started enjoying it. Nice bit of lemonade and some ice in it. It's lovely. Uh, yeah, so what am I streaming tomorrow? Well, I got a couple of options. Um, I got some new game uh, that was sent to me yesterday that's coming out next week. It's called Affinity. Um, it's supposed to be quite an interesting 2D, 3D. So it's a small indie team who founded Den Pixel, which is a dream of making great games with soul and integrity. Uh, is an action adventure puzzle side scroller with a unique 3D depth aspect. I will upload the link. Um, so this was sent to me yesterday, and it looked quite interesting. It's not the kind of game I'd usually play, but I'm tempted to maybe do this tomorrow. If not, SnowRunner. Because I haven't done SnowRunner in a while either, so... Gecko, you're not on the old SnowRunner. Oh, and uh, Rob Powell, good evening. Park, good evening as well. Hello, hello. Uh, Destroy U Boat Hunter was released today in early access. Was that released today? Why didn't I get a pop up about that? I'm sure I had it on my key list. <coughs> I'll have a look, maybe. Uh, in response to the console 195 is not bad. I wouldn't say I liked them. I live in the 
Calder Valley route, and apart from an hour 158, that's all we get. Well, it's better than what we get here in Ireland. We get literally no trains here in Ireland, ever. <laughs> Destroy a U-boat hunter. Let's have a look. Uh, anyways, what else have I got? There was something else sent to me. I was sent this as well. It's supposed to be like... I don't know. We're doing Sea of Thieves tomorrow, aren't we? Isn't that the plan? Sea of Thieves. I did get sent this one as well. Which is like a survival Sim of Thieves. Uh, that was sent to me yesterday as well. What else did I get? Uh, there was another one. I know there's three I'm behind on. Oh, I remember where it's gone now. But the problem is, I like those U-boat games and stuff, but I, f I found the other one quite hard. Is it just called U-boat, isn't it? This time you're the destroyer instead of the U-boat, so it's like the opposite way around. Well, we're supposed to do Sea of Thieves tomorrow, so I'll do Sea of Thieves or we'll do SnowRunner. Be one or the other, see what people are more into tomorrow. Or, oh, I like I said, I've got that affinity uh, that we could do. Um, what else have I got? Slime Rancher 2 was given to me a couple of days ago, never played. Um... There's a couple of other games there. There's a few that I'm saving for different things, though. There was a game that came out today as well called... Oh, it's coming tomorrow. Oxygen First Breath. Looks quite good. Um... Sure, there's something else here. <clears throat> Just trying to see from the list of uh, stuff I can apply for. Uh, keep an eye on the Shores of Gold. Yeah, I sent the key for the Shores of Gold. Um, I was going to do it on a separate stream to see what it was all about. It's kind of like Sea of Thieves but survival. That's how they put it in their own concept. So. It might be quite cool, actually, you know. Sea of Thieves. It is good fun. I enjoyed myself last week on Sea of Thieves. I really enjoyed myself. Sorry, I have to go. I would have hoped to stay longer, but the cats are up to something and I had a glass shower. No worries, mate. See you there, Edward. Thank you for the su subscribing and stuff. Much appreciated. So yeah, we've got a couple of options for tomorrow, I suppose. I mean, that Finity doesn't release to the 30th, so what's that? Saturday. I kind of wanted to cover it beforehand. It looks quite cool, like a little puzzler thing. Have you invested in the stream deck yet? Yeah. Um, I'm waiting for a delivery date. I have paid for it. I'm just waiting for now to... It's been shipped. I had an email yesterday saying it was shipped, so hopefully it'll be here in two or three days. Fingers crossed. Uh, but yeah, we'll have a stream deck, yeah. Sorry, Steam Deck. Stream Deck, Steam Deck, same bloody thing. Well, not at all. I have a Stream Deck. Steam Deck. Oh, yeah, I ordered my Steam Deck only two weeks ago, three weeks ago, and I, I got it already processed and done. Uh, I went for the, the the middle range. I think it was the 256. I know everybody is like, oh, we just pull out the card and put in a new one. 
Um, so, you know, it's not going to be my main thing. You know, it's like when you're just chilling or if you're traveling. So, you know, it's still going to play my PC. I still have to record videos and stuff. So, it, it, you know, for me, it's just an extra little toy. Maybe when you're like laying in bed or something or, you know, the ball and chains watching EastEnders or something. Am I going to review it? I don't know. Um, I did ask. I did put it up on Discord. Did anyone want me to do an unboxing and a slight review? But didn't get any response, so maybe people aren't interested. I don't know. Problem is, it's been out for quite a while for some people now. So there, there, there's quite a lot of it already on YouTube, to be honest. It's not like it's one of the first ones. Like, when I do, go and do my flying lessons and stuff, I have to go up to Northern Ireland and a few nights away and all this kind of stuff, so it's kind of it's kind of handy. Usually I take my Switch, but there's not much on the Switch that I enjoy playing at the moment, really. I really want the new Splatoon, though. I haven't tried it yet. I want to play that. Stream, uh, sorry, Steam Deck. I'll put a link up here for you. Okay, hang on, just let me uh, put my brakes on. Bugger. So yeah, I went for the uh, the 256 with the NVMe SSD. Yeah, I mean, it looks good, and there's loads you can do with it as well. I've seen loads of people using emulators, and I probably won't mess around too much with mine. I, I, I kind of like to leave them stock and stuff, but... Uh, can't be text-heavy due to the screen size. Well, for me, like, what I'll play most of, like, the, the games I don't really play on, sh on uh, videos and streams. run all your games. Nothing runs on Z. Which of three too many times. See, for me, I get sent a lot of games that I don't even get a chance to even test or play because I can't sit here on the computer 10 hours a day or whatever, so um, for me, it's a good way to test a lot of my stuff as well. Okay, welcome to Chester. <laughs> Plus you can always play it while taking the shit, so yeah. Um, even though it says games aren't compatible, they all are. Everyone's been... Because I'm in a lot of groups and stuff, and all of them are like, Oh yeah, this works, this works. You, you, don't, you just have to resize some of them in bits and pieces. Uh, but they're all working. My stop point was a little bit further back, but let's not worry about that. Oh. 
We're inside the building. People are getting off. What have we got up here? Nice 150. The regional railways. On the way you're off to. Not in public use. Oh, we've got one. Is that a 158? No. Oh, we've got a mismatch here. 158 with a 150. I hate these mismatch trains. I think they look so dreadful. Uh, I put about 20 hours into cyber, but it was pretty boring. Yeah, it's not one I've, I I played. I mean, I remember when it first came out, Kurt told me how dreadful it was and bugs were such a problem that I was like, nah, just stay away. <laughs> so yeah, I stayed away. And, and as what Kurt just said, another reason why I stayed away. But the one thing I like about it, like... You're paying decent money for it, but like I've got all my games. My my, I don't even know how many games I got on Steam. My library is. It doesn't even tell you how big your library is, no. I got 481 games, so like there's loads to choose from, and that's what I like about. It. I don't have to be buying extra games like you do with like Switches or all the other stuff. Yeah, Fallout runs pretty well on it. I heard. I never completed Fallout 4 either. I did, I did, um, I completed 3. I loved 3 when that came out. But yeah, 4 I never bothered with. Okie dokie, we're here. We're done in Chester. Okay, we're heading off to our last stop now in crew. Uh, no worries, Ram. Catch you later, mate. Yeah, I think most people now download games, don't they? It's definitely uh, the way forward.
I find it they're cheaper in the, on the Switch store anyways than going to buy them in a, a game shop. But that's what they want because they don't want people to, you know, trade them in at places like CEX and resell again because that's my, more profit from them that's been taken away. So if people download them, people want it, they'll have to do it themselves. So doesn't surprise me. Okay, so we've got 19 miles until crew. That's our final stop of tonight's uh, scenario. Uh, farming sim on the switch. I have uh, I have one of the older ones. I don't did 22 ever come out on the switch. I don't know um, Yeah, like I, I like things like Splatoon I've put a lot of time into Splatoon um, Put quite a bit of time into Civilization 6 as well I Don't think what else Ah, oh, you know what it is I've been playing um, Oh L.A. Noir, but I play that quite a bit on the Switch. Mario and Rabbit's Kingdom Battles. <clears throat> never, never played it to be honest. 
the other one, you know, where you have Mario and Zelda and all them doing the fighting. I can't remember what that's called now either. I, I like my Zelda games. Breath of the Wild was great. Looking forward to the next Zelda as well that's coming out. They put a release date, didn't they? I don't know, is it May or March or something like that? April, something like that. The main reason why I got the Switch was for Breath of the Wild. Problem with the Breath of the Wild was the weapons breaking. Yeah, I agree. Like, especially when you got like the Master Sword and the Master Shield, and the fact that they still broke. Even though you could get two shields technically, because <clears throat> you could buy one as well. But yeah, I think once you had the Master weapons, they shouldn't have broke. Two planes are crashing into each other. Where? A Heathrow? Is it just on the ground? I say no one's hurt, no. Uh, you have broke what could not be broken or hope is broke. Well, that's pretty much Zelda in a, in a nutshell, isn't it? I do like those timeline videos where everyone's trying to piece together the timeline. I wonder will we ever get the full timeline from uh, the Maker in Japan? Like the real timeline of how it all's supposed to be. That's what interests me probably the most. One of my favorite Zeldas was probably Sky uh, Skywaker. I love Sky Waker. But yeah, Breath of the Wild, the, the stuff breaking was pretty stupid. I must admit, the new advert for the new one, a lot of the places, basically, it looks like it's the same map. It's the only thing that's disappointing. It looks like it's pretty much the same regions. It looks like um, you meet in the same people. So that's the only thing that I'm a bit worried about about the new one, but we'll take it as it comes. Wonder will this be the time before the Calamity? is what we're going to see next. So we find the actual story of, you know, the, the Guardian and Zelda and all that. We need a Switch Pro. We need something. Oh, I see here two planes in minor collision involving Icelander Air and a Korean Air aircraft on the airfield has been investigated. But the Korean Air, they're always in bloody crashes, they are. I bet you it's their fault too.
Nope, something's coming past. Yeah, I mean, look, two planes should be touching each other, and especially in an airport like Heathrow. So it's either taxi instructions were bad from the, 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 the tower, which I doubt, or somebody's made a wrong turn or made a mistake on their taxi. I can't see any other way it could have happened. There's no images showing what happened. No one was hurt, so that's the main thing. Okay, five miles to go. You had the Bluegra and two 747s, nice. Next stop is final stop, crew. We've done the whole route then, crew to Hollyhead. That was a two hour scenario.
I didn't even see the red light hit. Sugar. Oh, that was just in time. <laughs> I was thinking that that was, even with the two, I thought the red light was going to be here at the station. Shall we go see what's going on? Who are we waiting for here? Uh, we're waiting for this guy, probably. Could be, it could be him. Oh no, it's this guy. He's just turning on now. It's the uh, Scottish hosteler. Still get a nice picture of them both crossing paths. Problem is I can't see him. Okie dokie, we just go back into the cab den. Let's put the reverser to off. Uh, we're gonna take out the master key and we're gonna throw the brakes all the way up into the emergency. They'll let us. Okay, thank you for playing. Another driver will take over for the onward journey. Perfect. Hopefully, you guys all enjoyed that. Uh, let me know in the comments down below. Come join us in Discord. If you wanted me to drive any scenarios or anything like that, please let me know. 
Uh, thank you to everyone that has been here this evening. And hopefully I will see you all at the next live stream. Thank you to all mods, members, everybody in the chat. Um, bye for now.